So it's April. We're back on schedule. <laughs> yes, because this just got here. I mean, I know it's May, but that's how it is. They always ship out at the end of the month and you get them the following month. Mm -hmm. So this got here three days ago. Super excited. And it's got some weight to it. And of course we know that in fact, Seeing if you had cut it already. No, I did not cut it. I wanted to. I was like, man, I want to know what it is. Because they said that the artist or the the celebrity had never done a signing yet. It's one of their first signings. I thought they said it was something out of Pet Cemetery. Now, the remake, I saw it. It was definitely, it was good, mm -hmm. but it was not a happy ending. I mean, uh, Pet Cemetery in general is not a happy movie anyway, yeah. but they really took it to the next level of makes you feel like you got to... Got kicked at the end. Oh yeah, it was bad. So I don't know. Who knows? Oop! I see a knife. <laughs> okay. Looks very similar to the, the knife over there, <laughs> which is okay because actually, yeah, it, it, it was a scalpel in the in the movie, and I don't think you. Yeah, you really don't want to be. A scalpel will be very expensive anyway, and they're very, very dangerous. So what do we got? Ooh. Oh, is this Candyman? It is. Yes? Yeah. Did you look, look, <laughs> look, see? She's all over it. Is Candyman? Yeah. It is. See? She even knows about it now, and she hasn't even seen the film, because Dad talks about it. No, or did you no. see it? You saw it with the guy with the hook? Oh, the only time I've seen it is that, like, growing up, it was always on, like, the VH1 countdowns of, like, the top 10 horror movies of the 90s or, you know, whatever. I've never seen it, though. You have to watch it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've seen Hatchet 1 and 2, finally. Mm -hmm. I think there was a third one. I'm really bad about watching movies. I have this weird phobia where, I, like, I don't know. Like, cause I have this, I have this image in my head of what the Candyman movie is like, so I don't want to let myself down by watching it and have it not be that good. <laughs> the first one was, I thought the first one was actually pretty good. Yeah, but that's how I am about like every movie. But Tony Todd is just like such a character actor. He, mm -hmm. he's, he was like like the ultimate badass. He was all these crazy, weird, sinister characters. Sometimes the villain, or just like a really sinister guy that was in the movie that and he wasn't the villain. But yeah, he's. He's been around for a long time. All right, so the knife is there. It's right in front of us. Yep. And like I said, I, I'm okay with this because the scalpel would be kind of small and I it just, mm. so we don't know who signed this yet, but we're about to find out. This knife is hand signed by Twisty Troy James, who plays Pretzel Jack in Channel Zero, The Dream Door. Oh, see, for some reason I kept thinking it was, oh, that's right, you know what? I just assumed it was Pet Cemetery. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm thinking, well, it's a weapon, and I'm thinking, well, that would make sense. So I don't, I haven't seen this. Channel Zero, The Dream Door. It was signed during private signing for the BAM Horror Box, and it's guaranteed to be authentic. That looks like a, something like a comic book or something. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, Vampirilla. Yes. We've got some other things from her. We, well, one in particular, we got like I love copies this of it. cover. Oh, that's neat. And it's yeah. got some crazy clown in it. Mm -hmm. See, if Mr. Alberto was there, he would have passed out just now. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, that's yeah. Vampirella number three by Dynamite. And yeah, I don't know. I love this cover. She has a very like anime look to her. Now we have one. We have a ton of number one. Yeah. I don't know if we've ever got two or not, but that's cool. But I Dynamite like Comics, they made, that is neat. I was not expecting that. And it looks like we've got a print, which is fine. Oh, pet Cemetery. Okay, yes. Yeah, so this makes sense. See, I knew there was Pet Cemetery. I've never seen this. This is the first remake. What's oh, a remake? Well, it's like a reboot. The yeah. original one was done back when I was a teenager. It was it was good then. I'm trying to remember Fred, the guy who played Herman Monster mm -hmm. from the Monsters. He was in it. He played a. The, the judge who was the next door neighbor. So this has been redone. John Lithgow is in the new one. It was done well. It was it, it stayed. It, it was a Stephen King novel. And this one was much darker than the other one, if that's even remotely possible. Because but it was. You have to. Not a happy ending. Oh no. Most of King's books are not yeah, happy no. ending anyway. So anyway, oh well, well there we go. Look. So yes, Tony Todd. Now see there he is with the oh, hook. Yeah. And there's a bee. Mm -hmm. there's some. Bumblebees. I won't. I won't spoil it for you. I'm liking our print better. That red one looks kind of. Yeah. 
I mean, they both look freaky deaky. What is that? Like a monk? What else? It looks like a, like a, a face. Oh, it's like some kind of like crazy yeah. demon monkey hooded something. No, it's it? a girl. That's a girl? Yeah, like see her eyes are right there and her hair. Yeah. Then oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Comics. You could have gotten um, Alvira, Mistress of the Dark, Vampirella, Army of Darkness, or Evil Ernie, which is like... Up there with my favorite. Yeah, I know, I know you like people learning. <laughs> Army Darkness would have been good for me, but then again, I'm happy she got the uh, For this umbrella. one, it looks like it was it was random. Like, you could have gotten any of those series, any number of the comic. Oh, really? Yep, so that was cool, though. I, I actually really like that one, too, though. So, this is the movie. He looks kind of sinister. Yeah. yeah and then that is, okay, yeah, that resembles the knife that he had. We are excited to have Tristy Troy James in this month's horror box. This is the very first signing that Troy has done and one of the creepiest kills we have seen in a show as Bristol Jack. Troy is a unique talent. He has starred in The Flash as well as the latest Hellboy movie as Baba Yaga. And this month, Troy signed a knife for every single box. Some of the inscriptions and drawings on them. So keep your eye out for those. And look for the sign knife with red on it, pictured above, so like a bloody knife. Oh. If you receive this knife, please let us know, and Troy has something special to say to you. Oh, that'd be cool. So I don't know if they, like, put them on the phone. So with Adam and Team yeah, Bambox, cool. have them trapped yeah. at Bambox headquarters. <laughs> No, that's neat. But no, I mean, it, that, that's neat that everybody got one. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times the weapons are like they're an upgrade. We need to go to Texas. We need to sign nice and have it in every box. There you that's go, what we need to do. There you go, Adam. <laughs> well, we've been talking about going to see Adam and Team Bandbox for a while. Yeah. Even back when they were out in Arizona. And it was something coming, I believe it's... If it's not this year, it's definitely going to be next year. We've got a little trip where we're going around and doing some stuff. That'd be that'd so be cool. cool. Yeah, if we could have an item set like in the box. Just like a pin or something that I designed. That'd be so cool. That'd be cool. Yeah. you have to be you signing it because people, if they wouldn't know why. <laughs> no, like, it has to be the both of us. be like, what? I just all that. That's the, the dad. Oh, okay. But the Kendra I, sign it. I know. I signed like 500 papers a day at work and I always I always think that one day this autograph is going to be worth money. That's what I just had to keep telling myself sometimes. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. you gotta, you got to have a vision and I'm dream big. No, you do. Yeah. yeah, no, no, absolutely. This was cool. I liked it. I, that print's just freaking me out. Really? I thought the other print was freakier. Oh, no, those prints were freaky. But the, the thing, it's just yeah. because it looks like something, I don't know. It looks like a... It looks like like eye sockets with an open mouth, doesn't it? Oh, kind of, yeah, see? Right? Mm -hmm. But then when you said it was his, it was a girl, then I'm thinking, well, it's his daughter, and you haven't seen the movie yet, yeah. so you have, to, you have to watch the movie. And time something happens to children, I get disturbed. Yeah. So a great movie, knowing what, what Pet Cemetery is about, and yet I still watch it, knowing what pretty much was going to happen, which was true, but I didn't know. I, it, it was just... I get all emotional when something yeah. happens to some, somebody's daughter and then I'm just all like a baby. <laughs> but fantastic. Love it. Just not this. That's why I put that away. Yeah. So we're good. Now we got that. This is great. Yes, we got this over here. We got the candy man. That's perfect. They could have left it just like that. Not freaky deaky thing with the guy's daughter. Get, well, that, not going to say anything else. But. Yeah. So I have no idea what's coming up in May, but we will be having pop culture. We'll be doing those as well. And there's a couple of Funko Pops in pop culture, so stay tuned for that. Those videos will be up sooner or later, sometime before next year. Yeah. <laughs> so on that note, we want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and share with your friends. Until next time, stay weird. Bye.